All right, so I was going to go ahead and show you sort of how I made this particular pattern um, and how it works. So if I select that and go to Edit Family, I zoom in on it. Let's look at it in a reference floor plan. It's a little easier to see that way. Basically, it's four points, and then I've hosted some lines and points on here. So for example, if I pick this reference point that's hosted on this line, it has a component on it, a parameter on it that's holding it at 0.88 from the end of that line, right? So if I click on this, I've associated a parameter with that point, and we'll take a look at how that happens in a minute. If I click on that, it's P01. And if I come up here to my Family Types dialog box, and there's P01 set at 0.88, I could come in and set it at like 0.75 and everything that has that P01 applied to it will update. So if I go to apply, you'll see that now those guys change. And then everything that has P02, if I put that to 0.25 and apply, then those change as well. So you see that happening right there. Now, what is nice about this sort of, what is called a, if I pick the point, what is called a normalized curve distance is it doesn't matter how big or small this thing gets it will not break because it's doing a percentage of the start and the end of the line so it doesn't matter and it comes in pretty handy to do that so um, I'm gonna start and make remake this thing and I'll come over here and do it just um, keep in mind um, that yeah, I can't delete that, is, um, is that I'm going to use four more adaptive points. And I guess I can get rid of these and just leave them as regular points. But you have to have four adaptive points, right, on the corners. So I just got rid of the adaptiveness of those. And so what I would do is I would come in and I would create four points. One, two, three, four. And I would make them adaptive. And I would first thing put the rig all the way around it, that line. So if I go to reference line and I want it to not be on the surface, I want it to be on the face so it will just stick to these points and the 3D snapping needs to be on. So I'm going to go through and draw the line around and by having the 3D snapping on and it sets a face, it will stick to those points. So if I go to my 3D view and I zoom in on this guy, you will see that if I move it, those lines move with it. If I had drawn a reference line and set it to be on plane with the reference level, and I draw that line out there, and then if I move this guy, that line does not stick because it was not set to face, right? It was set to plane and this is hosting on the reference plane and not on those points. So the way that you um, host things makes a big difference and it takes a little while to get used to it. Um, now the next thing I'm going to do is host these points along these lines, right? So to do that you go to reference point or point element and you want it to be on face, which means it's going to host itself to something. So if I go to face, you'll see that the dot gets really small and that line highlights. If I'm on the surface, the dot doesn't get small. It stays the same size, right? Um, so that's kind of a clue. If I go to draw on face and hover, it gets real small. So I can pick, I've got three points along here. So one, two, three and if I pick one of those points it's going to give me the normalized curve distance if I want that to be at 0.5 I can set it to 0.5 and if I move one of these points it will always stay at 0.5 you can see them that they're staying and they're keeping track of where half of that is all right uh, when I come back 
we'll set the rest of these points and put parameters on them and make a little thing. All right.